Welcome to another contribution for Utopian. This video follows the series of tutorials in Spanish on the creation of macros. In this video, we will understand how to make basic changes in Calc through the LibreOffice Basic. We will also learn how to make calls to predefined functionalities in Calc. For this, we will make an example of creating a table of grades with a number validation. The first thing we will do is create a subroutine. We are going to create the following objects. Args will be used to send the auxiliary arguments to the unit dispatcher. Let's now associate the document object with the file that we have opened from LibreOffice Calc. The dispatcher object we associate with the unit service that will allow us to execute each action. Now let's select cell A2. For this task, we will use the go to cell function in the dispatcher, using as arguments to point and the absolute reference A2. Let's see the result of the execution of this code. As you can see, it automatically takes me to cell A2. To enter a text, we will use the enterString function in the dispatcher with the property string name as name. Let's see the result. We will do the same to create the other headers in our table. I'm going to execute the subroutine. Now, to make a selection, we will see a first option, that is to be select cell by cell by contiguous movements. We select the initial cell first. The arguments that we will use are to the property name, we will assign the value by, and to value, we will assign the value 1. Now, we will use the function go right cell, go down cell, go up cell, go left cell to move through the calculation sheet. To add a background color of this selection, we will use the background color function 
of the dispatcher. To name, we will give the value background color and to value the color code that we want to introduce. Let's execute the subroutine and see the result. Another way to select is using the range notation that we use when applying formulas in Calc. We will add a background color to the selection we create. Let's execute the subroutine. I'm realizing that the subroutine didn't color the entire range I indicated. Here we realize the importance of using uppercase and lowercase letters correctly. Now we will select the range to which we want to apply the validation. First, we indicate to the dispatcher that he must make the selection and then we will send a call to the validation dialog box. Let's see the result. After entering the validation parameters, we will have our table ready. Let's enter a name. If we try to enter a non-numerical value, it will issue a warning and eliminate the value. The same will happen with a value less than or equal to zero. We will not have problems introducing values greater than zero. I hope this video has been useful for you. We will see you on the next occasion. Bye.